What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, this video is going to be a quick Q&A. Well, might be super quick because I actually want to go into depth with some of these questions. I'll put something up on my Instagram story asking you guys. Yeah, I just put the question box out there and just said drop me some good questions. I'm going to answer them for YouTube and yeah, rather than just try answer them in a 15 second Instagram story, I can actually go into detail some of these topics and that's what I want to do with this YouTube. Really, um, for you guys that are watching, you probably care more about what I've got to say. So I'll really go into d dive deep into these um, questions that you guys have sent through. And um, yeah, I've got my phone here, so let's get straight into it. I won't answer every single question, but I'll answer the genuine ones. So there's some like in a different language, which guys, if you're gonna send me a question, like just put it in English, please. Like I can't, I can only speak English. So how do you eat as a hybrid athlete and what does a week look like for you? Love your content, by the way. First of all, I appreciate that, um, that you're enjoying the content. A week for me, you probably have to, well, I try to give you guys an insight as much as I can on my stories of kind of how I live my life. So whatever you're seeing on the stories, what I'm up to, like also I dropped a reel as well of a full week of training hybrid, hybrid style. So um, go check that video out and that should give you a bit of an insight into training. Other than that, I do work, um, electrical work, photo shoots, a heap of different stuff at the moment. So yeah, I'll try also in this YouTube to give you guys more of an insight into my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Can you give us a run through on all your runners? Um, I think I should do this on another video. It doesn't have to be a massive video, but I think I should really get into this because I feel like it's something that, um, it's a plays a massive part in training, getting better for, um, getting quicker, getting fitter, and without getting injuries, because like a lot of people get injuries, I've had injuries before, and I've found a massive part of that is due to not having the correct runners, and just think, just thinking that it's something that I've done, or over training and stuff, but at the moment, I think I've finally found like a good combination of different training runners, and also race shoes. Like I've told you guys before, the vapor flies that I, I just recently raced in those um, at the Sunshine Coast Half Marathon, and I think my body and style of running is just suited best to those. I do have a pair of Alpha Flies which I've raced in it multiple times, but I found that they do give me issues. So I think I'll do a full video on that, on that, um, and then yeah, that will be. Hopefully, I can give you guys some good information and. You, you can take something away from that and go get like yourself a good pair of runners that aren't going to give you injuries. So I'll leave that for another video. Will you do a full marathon in the future? I've just signed up. Um, I haven't really announced, I've announced it on my Instagram, but haven't on YouTube. I'm getting flown down um, to Sydney. They're putting me in a room and stuff like that. Paying me some money, it's, it's crazy. Um, when I got the email, I was so surprised. Like, so I'm pretty much yeah promoting the event. They're but they're trying to get the Sydney Marathon on the world stage, with like the London Marathon, the Tokyo one, and all that stuff. So I will be doing the Sydney Marathon, full marathon, on the 18th of September. But I've never done one before. But yeah, I feel like I've definitely got it in me. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And my main plan was to do it next year um, and do like a proper like 12 week or 8 week block of training before it but at the moment I'm going to aim for that sub 3 hour but if I can't get it then it is what it is I'm not going to be super um, disappointed but I think we got it in me I think I've got it in me so we're going to go for it see how we go pace me in a marathon please that's another um, question I would actually enjoy doing this, maybe not a full marathon, but I think I would enjoy being a pacer for like a half marathon, or not even like a pacer, but just like run a sub 90 half marathon, which I think I could do very comfortably now, because I've done it a lot quicker than that, and I feel like that's a good like, a good like goal to have like as you're getting into running 
is like a sub 90. I feel like if you can run a sub 90 half marathon, then you're actually, you're a pretty good runner. So I'd love to actually do that. And if I can get like a group of people that are actually interested in it, um, we can aim for a race and I'd love to take a group along and yeah, just help, help a few other people smash that goal of running a sub 90. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in something like that. Do you train one day, one muscle or mix? Yeah, so I train like a bro split usually. I have done push-pull legs before, but I've all, I just prefer it. I train one muscle group a day. Um, so if you guys know me, you've probably seen. I do back on Monday. I do chest on Tuesday. I do legs on Wednesday. I do shoulders Thursday. I do arms by themselves, so buys and tries on Friday. Saturday, I don't usually go to gym. It's usually when I do a long run. Sunday is a rest day. So yeah, I usually do one muscle group a day, but that's just my preference and what I enjoy. Not a running question, but what's your opinion on Hilux Workmate? <laughs> so yeah, I've got a Hilux Workmate because I am an electrician. Um, they're great cars. They've always been great cars, they're so reliable, stuff like that. And especially if you buy one brand new, then you're gonna have like a good amount of warranty and stuff on it. So yeah, definitely recommend the Hilux Workmates. But they do chew a lot of fuel if you get a petrol one, so be wary of that. This one, have you used steroids? Um, I've been pretty open about this in the past, so yeah, on stories and questions and stuff like that, if people have asked me. I'm currently around 75 to 76 kgs at the moment. Um, the heaviest I've ever been is around 86 kilos. And yes, that was when I was um, using like enhancements. I won't go into detail too much on that, but yeah, I used to use, I used to do comps and stuff like that. Haven't touched a thing in, I think since like late 2018, which is now around for like four years ago now. Um, someone actually asked me today, they said, what is the, like, how come you prefer to just be like natural all the time now? He asked me something along that lines, like what is the, the worst thing about being like on using enhancements and stuff? The thing is like, you might see a guy so jacked in the gym and you're like, holy shit, this dude looks crazy. And then a few months later, you see him again and he just looks like a completely different person. It's because you can't really, st well you shouldn't stay on steroids like all the time. Like it's not good for you at all and it will, yeah, it's it, steroids fuck with your testosterone so much and pretty much when you're on it, you feel amazing, you feel the best, like your pumps are just unreal and all that. And then when you come off it, um, kind of shrivel up a bit, your testosterone levels drop a lot and that's how people get so addicted. It's just a vicious cycle of like on and off. Like if you're natural and you're not using anything at all, you can look the same all the time. So it plays a massive role in like your mental health and stuff where it's like, if you're on and off steroids all the time, you're constantly thinking like, oh, in a few weeks time I have to come off and then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna shrivel up and this and that. And that's how why guys get stuck in the kind of stuck. They get off it and then they get back on straight away. And like every time they're off it, they've got no self-confidence. They, um, yeah, it's kind of just like they're a different person. So that's why I kind of choose that. And I, I did find that once I actually put in the effort and said to myself, I'm not doing that shit anymore. I'm not competing or anything like that. Like. And once I, I said to myself, if I can stay lean, train hard, diet hard, and, and achieve, like kind of achieve like a, a physique that I'm happy with, and that's a thing. Not being like, I want more, I want more, I want more, which is like, I've been, I'm never gonna be as big as I was before. So the thing is now, I have to just be happy with small, getting better, maybe small bits and pieces, or just being happy with the body that I have right now that I can hold this physique all year round. So that's, I won't keep going on that question too much, but yeah, like I am natural and I am now, like I said, I'm open about this stuff. And the funny thing is when someone like call you out and say like, oh, um, cause I did get so dry and lean this year 
and that was probably the leanest I've ever been. I did not use a thing to get that lean. I dieted hard, I was running a shitload, and the, the body fat was just stripping off me like crazy, and that's what I've kind of realized now is, if your diet's on point, if everything is on point, the body is capable of some crazy things. So don't um, just think that you, you need to get on enhancements to look good, you don't. Someone, another question, we'll get into the next one. I'm going to do in my first half marathon, any key tips on the lead, lead up to the event? I would just recommend watching that recent YouTube video that I just put up of the, um, the Sunshine Coast half marathon recap. That pretty much goes through everything. Um, if you want questions about like kind of the week leading up and training and stuff like that, then send me a message because I didn't go over that as much. But if you're wondering what I do like the day before, what I eat and all that type of stuff, watch that YouTube video. That will help you out. Are you single and what do you identify as gay, bi or straight? I'm 100% straight. Um, I've got nothing against gay or bi people or anything like that. Um, got heaps of um, gay followers, I think, like that. And yeah, like I've always said, I love anyone that shows support and anyone that's like a lovely person. Um, got nothing against it at all, but I am 100% straight. How many calories do you eat daily to maintain, maintain workout gains and running every day? Another thing, I, I don't personally count calories, but if you guys have watched my other videos or if you haven't, um, Go back, watch my very first video. I go through a full day of eating. That hasn't changed too much since then. And you can pretty much see how I'm um, maintaining muscle while running as much as I do. Another thing is, like I said, I used to do bodybuilding comps like that. I built my physique and then I got into running. I didn't kind of, if you're a skinny guy and you're kind of trying to build muscle and get in doing running at the same time, that's going to be a lot harder. I built the muscle first and then I got into running and I wasn't phased if I had to sacrifice like a tiny bit of muscle. I'm a follower from Mexico. I just wanted to say thank you. You inspire me. Another one, I'm a big fan from Brazil. It's crazy for me to see how many people from like around the world also, um, support me and follow me. Also, I... With the ebook as well, I can actually see who's bought it, where where they're from, and stuff like that. I think there was now nearly twenty different countries that people bought the ebook from, which is crazy. Um, so I love you guys. Anyone that supports me and loves what I do, I appreciate you guys. You guys keep me on my tail. You guys keep, you guys motivate me when I'm doing races and stuff like that. Anyone that's ever messaged me and stuff like that, all those messages I see them all. I'll reply to all of them much as I can and that stuff literally sticks in my head midway through a race and I know that I'm not going to give up because I know how many people support me so I appreciate you guys. Have I been recognised in public? Yeah I've been <laughs> recognised in public. I think when people are drunk they um, they tend to say something more so if I go out to like Burley Pav or something like that or even festivals and stuff like that people will come up to me. I don't I'm not, I don't consider myself massive like online and I don't expect every anyone every, I don't expect anyone to know me. I don't walk around like I expect people should know me, but I have had a few people come up to me and I'm always friendly, so if you see me in public come in, just come up, have a chat. Um, be more than happy to have a talk to you. How did you start getting a following, building your brand to reach so many people? Um to be honest, I think there was another photo like that, uh, another question like that. I've only been following you for a minute, but curious how you blew up and have such a big following. Um, so I've le when I left school, I made an Instagram. That was 2012, so it's been 10 years since then. And it hasn't been like I've just popped off just overnight. Like, if you look how many times I've posted, it's like, over, like over 1300 you th I only ever post like maybe once a day so that's a lot of like days me posting consecutively I've never I've never taken my foot off the gas and I've just like I always just post what I enjoy that's I was talking to someone this the other day people sometimes ask like oh how do I become an influencer or how do I get into the industry or this or that but it's like a lot of people that got into the position that they are right now purely just got into it 
by chance or just like they create an Instagram or whatever platform they're on and they just all they did was just post what they enjoyed and what they liked which for me was just like I was competing in my early days I did photo shoots I got into modeling I just I just connect connected with other people and it just slowly grew over time um, just recently like this year it kind of has popped off maybe a little bit more with all the just all the running and stuff like that. I couldn't believe how many people actually love that kind of content and yeah especially like um, at the start of the year <laughs> shit was going crazy so yeah that's kind of how I got to where I am now um, and yeah so it's been a slow grind and it's just been me putting in the effort like consecutively that's how you get there um, what Garmin watch are you using? Um, I use a Garmin Forerunner 935. Um, all of the Forerunner watches are great for running. Even I think that there's a 245 that I used to have. Um, yeah, they're great and they're super light. One thing I didn't want when I got a Garmin is to have some big bulky thing that weighed a lot. So just check how many grams they weigh. And for me personally, I want one that's light that I can't feel on my wrist because I don't want something like some big chunky thing that's like weighing my wrist down when I run. So Garmin Forerunner 935 is what I use. What hair products do I, do I use? I use like this, um, oh, I'll go get it. All right, this is the stuff that I use. And it's like in a tube. So it's like a, it's like a paste type of thing. But when you, um, yeah, you pretty much just put a heap of paste like on your hand. I tend to put it in when it's wet and just like slick it all back. And then as it dries, I just like brush it and stuff backwards. Um, and it just gives you like a real natural like hold. It doesn't look like all wet and fucking weird that like a gel or something would. So that's the stuff that I use. If you need a proper picture, just send me a message and I'll, I'll let you know what it is. But we'll keep going on these questions. What's your weight? At the moment I'm weighing about 76 to 77 kilograms and I'm 178 centimeters tall. Um, love your nutrition. Can you cover more of your day to day? Like how often do you mix it up? Um, if you're after like, if you wanna see what I eat, like I said, go watch my earlier videos. It's got some more information on that kind of type of stuff. But I don't change it up too much. I only really change up small, small little things. And I'll probably do like an updated what I eat in a day in a few weeks or a few months. Do you prefer a public gym or home gym workouts? I just go through stages. Through through summer, I love training at home. Like it's nice and hot out there, which I love. Um, I hate training in cold gyms or just like through winter, because my gym's outside, it's pretty cold. So um, yeah, it just kind of changes. At the moment as well, like I wanted to put myself back in that environment, having people around and stuff like that. And since doing that, I've just been training so hard. So I do have like, yeah, I've been going to gym somewhere else a fair bit, but it's also given me so much motivation, having lots of people around to push some heavy weight. Um, I'm getting stronger, so I might have to actually get some heavy dumbbells. <laughs> What's your go-to wet weather gear for running? I'll usually, well, I'll take like a pair of shoes that I don't really care too much about. Um, otherwise, I'll just take like shorts, but I have like, just wear like a windbreaker. Like you can get them from Nike or a heap of different place, running shops and that. But I'll just have like a, depends how cold and hot it is as, as well. So I might have like a long sleeve underneath with like a windbreaker. And they even have hoods on them. So man, if you have to go outside, just chuck a crappy pair of shoes on your shorts or your tights that windbreaker on will just stop your shirt getting absolutely soaked so you stay a bit warmer um, and then if it's if it's hot and it's raining I'll just go outside no shirt that's what I'll do for sure so yeah that's it um, that's pretty much most of the questions I think I got all of them I won't go through it there was a few there that were just weren't that great or just um, yeah so that will pretty much be it hope you guys like this video I know it might be a bit boring for some, but hopefully some of you got some good information out of it. Um, like always, let me know what you want to see next. I will do that shoe tour. I might even combine it. So I might do like first half might be running shoes. And then I also might just go through like my whole shoe collection because I actually have 
a heap of pair of shoes. So I'll go through that as well. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share it around if you like. And yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you next time.